Uh, Mayor Romney losing the presidential race has left many members of the Republican Party in shock. And now 20 states are threatening to secede. That's right. Some citizens in these states are so upset with the election, they no longer want to be part of the United States of America. These are the states where petitions to the White House are in the works, asking to withdraw from the U.S. and create its own new government. And as of today, the Lone Star State garnered more than 77,000 signatures. Arizona has more than 13,000. Oklahoma has more than 12,000. Georgia has more than 22,000. And South Carolina got more than 16,000 signatures. Now, according to the rules, if you get over 25,000 signatures, the White House must give an official response. And as you just saw there, Texas has well surpassed that. And the guy who started the petition in that state, uh, Micah E. is the name that he goes by, says Texas is the 15th largest economy in the world and can take care of itself without being part of the union. No word on what kind of defense, uh, military or defense protections this new country would have or how it would pursue foreign policy. But we're wondering if they're truly ready to give up their U.S. citizenship today. Meanwhile, it looks more realistic that a state will be added to the current total of 50. This past election, Puerto Rico elected to petition to U.S. Congress for statehood. That could put them on track to become the 51st state. And maybe we should let some of those people secede. We'll take a look at which names turned up in the voter results from last Tuesday. Uh, in Georgia, Charles Darwin, you know, uh, survival of the fittest, uh, was a write-in candidate against Republican Congressman Paul Braun. He got 4,000 votes. And Hank the Cat, you see there, um, a candidate in Virginia, finished third. And in Stark County, Ohio, Jesus, Tim Tebow, and South Park's Eric Cartman all got votes for president. So it appears some people are trying to turn democracy into a mockery. Either that or they couldn't bear to vote for those actually on the ballot. Either way, it seems this election has stirred some interesting responses, to say the least.